Welcome back to Educator.com. This is QuickBooks Lesson Tracking and Paying Sales Tax. Now, this is one of our most fun things of life is collecting and paying sales tax in our business if you are uh, selling items on a retail basis. So this lesson is going to go over and review with you how to go ahead and set up those various tax agencies in QuickBooks so that you can properly uh, assign and, and charge the sales tax to your customers based on the area in which you are selling as well as turn around and pay those tax agencies um, the tax. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk about setting up the tax rates and the agencies in QuickBooks so that you can go ahead and, and monitor that properly. Now, um, our tax rates, of course, uh, the, one of the first things we want to look at is on our lists menu, we'll notice that there is a, um, a, a sales tax code list and uh, you may already have these two items, which is a, a taxable um, sales and non-taxable sales. So there are times when we might have services or uh, products that we're selling that are not taxable. We might be selling them uh, as on a whole t wholesale basis uh, to someone else. And so it's a non-taxable sale. And uh, uh, in this case here, we have both those. So those are already set up. If they're not, we can go ahead and add the sales code and make sure there's a, a tax with a description called uh, taxable sales and then a, a code that says non, which is non-taxable sales. In this case, we already have it there and, uh, and they're taxable. Okay, so I'm going to close that down and we're going to talk about setting up uh, new tax rates. In this example, I'm going to use Los Angeles since we have a decent tax rate in the Los Angeles, California area. And we're going to use um, uh, city of of me, and the city of me has a uh, a city tax of maybe half half a percent. The county has one and a half percent, and the state currently has a seven and a half percent sales tax. So when you add all that up together, you've got pretty much like a a nine and a half percent tax rate. So we're going to go ahead and set that up so that when we do business sell product to customers within the city of me, um, we can go ahead and charge them that 9.5% sales tax. So on our list menu, we're going to pull down our items. And I'm going to go ahead and, and resort this list by type so that I can look at the tax items there. So up in the, the uh, title bars here in our item list uh, box, I'm going to click on type to organize it organize it by type of service and we'll notice down here we have sales tax items uh, for East Bay Shore there's out-of-state sales tax at zero percent there's San Domingo there's San Thomas and there's East Bay Shore County which is a conglomerate of a couple of a county and, and, and the the city of East Bay Shore in my we're gonna use my example of setting up the city of me and we'll set that up so of course, when we're going to do that, we're going to look at um, we're going to look at the uh, the California state. We want to set up that as a as a seven and a half percent. We're going to set up the county at one and a half percent. We're going to set up the city for fifty percent, and then we're going to combine them as a group. So let's do that first. The first thing we want to do is add a new item. So we're going to click on item, and we are going to uh, say new. And on that, we'll see the type of service that it is. And at the bottom, we have sales tax item. So I'm going to choose sales tax item. The first tax name I'm going to do is um, CA, sales tax. I'm going to call it California sales tax. And I'll just type it out here. And what is the percentage rate? After Under the description, I typed in California sales tax. And under the tax rate percentage, I'm going to say 7 Point five and hit tab. Here it says the tax agency for that, is, of course, is the State Board of Equalization, which is already there. The California State Board of Equalization is the entity in California for uh, uh, paying, collecting and paying those state taxes. You might have uh, another state that might have another name for their tax agency, but the California is the State Board of Equalization. So check in your area to see which agencies you have to pay. I'm going to go ahead and click on next because now I've I've set up that 
um, and I'll be able to now add another one. So I set up the California for 7.5%. Now I'm going to set up the county, and I'll call it uh, LA County. So here I'll say the tax tax name is, I'll say LA County, and I'll say Los Angeles. Type it out in the description, Los Angeles County Tax. And we'll call it 1.5%. Okay, and this is also the State Board of Equalization that we're going to pay that to. So the county is always collected and paid by the State Board of Equalization. So we have our county and we have now our state. And I've got that set up. We'll click on next. We'll notice that they've added them over here, LA County and California sales tax. yippee ki -yay. Our next tax name we're going to set up is the City of Me. That's cool. City of Me tax. And that is the City of Me and that's 0.5%. And that's going to be payable to the city of me. Okay? That's my city. If you have a different city, city of John, city of Sally, use that. We're going to go ahead and click on OK now that we have those set up at half percent here. And we're going to see that, uh, oh, uh, it's not, the city of me is not there yet. So I'm going to go ahead and quick add it. I want to make sure it's there. And it'll add that agency to the um, to the list there. Uh, I can actually go ahead and set it up and put in the city and state and address and all that uh, later of where we're going to send that wonderful city tax to when we collect it. So now we notice that we've added to our item list the city of me tax, the LA County tax, and the California sales tax. All three of those. In fact, I forgot to put in the LA County tax, so I'm going to edit that. And by clicking on Control Edit, I'm going to add LA County and put tax at the end of it. Make sure that's done properly. So now we have all three taxes there. So we went ahead and, and showed you how to create and set up those tax rates and those agencies. We set up the City of Me agency. There was a State Board of Equalization, which was already there. But to make sure that that agency is there, we can go to the vendor. And I can go to the vendor sender through vendors. And I can go down to uh, City of Me and find that. Oh, I did City of Me. Where is it? Oh, there it is. And we can go ahead and make sure that that vendor is uh, set up properly by editing it. And we can edit the uh, address City of Me and where the bills are going to go to. Okay. I'll close down the vendor uh, center there and the uh, vendor item. And the next thing we want to do is, is 